Ableton Live 12 comes with some great MIDI generators. And I want to show you the rhythm generator. I'm going to just double click to create a MIDI clip. I've got my VHS drums and I'm going to click over to the generators and we see the rhythm and it's set to my kick drum, which is great. I'm going to just start turning the controls here and see what I get. So we've got a four on the floor. I can adjust the pattern, get different types of suggestions with my kick drum here. Let's move it around and see. Maybe that'll be something interesting. Let's just play it and hear it. Sounds cool. I'm going to click off of that so I can select another drum. Let's select the snare. And let's maybe try a different pattern that might be a little better for a snare. We might want, say, two notes. And let's see if we can get it to have ourselves a nice... We're going to smooth these around so we get something we like. I can shift these a bit. So we can shift them by whatever interval we have here. There we go. It's a nice sound I like. I'm going to click off of my notes so I don't change anything. And then we'll go to maybe our claps. And let's try a different pattern. Okay, that sounds good to me. Again, I'm going to click off. And let's go to our hi-hats. Now, we probably want more hi-hats than this. Let's go to 16th notes on the hi-hats. Try a different pattern, make it a little more dense. And here we can see the MIDI range we got on our hi-hats. You'll notice the velocity is being put in. And we've got this frequency, this is for our accent. So every four notes we'll get an accent on the hi-hats. Let's make that a little shorter. Let's do like every, we'll do every two notes. And we can change the offset with these arrows. So we're gonna do something like that. I think sounds kind of cool. I'm gonna click off this again. And maybe I'll go to our percussion. So now we've got the same pattern as the hat, so we're just going to adjust this a little bit, change our patterns. Maybe we'll do something like triple keel. We can split these, which is kind of cool. Which is back to 16th again. Shift these a little. Let's try a different pattern. Bring the split back down so it's not as common. We got this on 24. That's kind of fun. And maybe we'll bring in another percussion element. These are some sort of bells here. Make this a little more dense. Let's bring this shift over a little bit. And what you're seeing is I'm not even inputting any notes. I'm just getting these different MIDI patterns by just playing around with these generators. These are beats I probably wouldn't come up with on my own. weird accents right here. Maybe we don't want them so dense. Bring this down maybe to a 16th note. A little more density. Or instead of density, again, we could do a split. And we got something cool going on. So there's beat for us. Something I love doing is humanizing things. So I might select all of these notes. And we can play around with the humanize function in real time. And I might just bring in like a 10% humanization. And you can see things are shifted apart. They're not quite on the grid and they're not all together all the time. If you want to learn more about the new features in Ableton Live 12, check out the playlist I made that covers a bunch of these new features that are really fun and exciting. If you want to just learn about music production, check out the Music Production Podcast where we talk about all things related to music. And I've also got tons of Ableton Live packs at my website, brianfunk.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.